Hi everybody, Dan Schutte, Shoreview Natives, Native Plant Nursery and Landscaping here in Two Harbors. It's definitely not too late in the game to start thinking about getting your own native plant started from seed this year. And one of the parts of that process that we've already been through here, but I thought I'd just do a quick demonstration, is the stratification of seeds. So that is the process basically of mimicking nature. Think about native plant seeds in nature they fall off of the dried flower head say in the fall or the winter and they're in the snow exposed to cold and moisture all year so cold stratification is just creating those same sort of conditions in your refrigerator so you have to keep them cold and damp and the way we do that here we use vermiculite some people use sand as well i think if you have a source of sand that you know is really clean and free of weed seeds that would be a fine option as well. I'm always a little scared about sand that I get bringing in invasive weed seeds with them. And so I tend to lean towards vermiculite. Vermiculite sold as horticultural vermiculite and there's also insulative or vermiculite that's sold as insulation. And that stuff actually seems to be a little more fine grained, which I think is preferable when you're stratifying these seeds. It makes it a little easier to evenly spread the seeds and the vermiculite out when you're seeding trays. Uh, after the stratification process. So I guess I would recommend getting a fine grade horticultural vermiculite or get some of that insulation vermiculite. The thing is that stuff is sold in like compressed four cubic foot bales. There's a lot of it. We've gone through one of those bales here in like three years. So I just opted for a smaller package. This is coarse grade vermiculite, which I really don't recommend. I just didn't look at the package when I grabbed. I have a pretty good sense of the size of the seeds and what rate I should be kind of sprinkling it on there. So get yourself some vermiculite or some real clean sand. And to mix this stuff up, what you want to do is just put it dry in a bowl. When I'm doing 60 different species, I use a big mixing bowl. But for today, just demonstration, you know, get a little plastic dish and put it in there dry. And then I just start adding water. I think I was probably a little too uh, I overthought it when I started doing this because I didn't know how much water and how much vermiculite and if it was supposed to be really wet and after a few years I kind of settled on the test being once I mix that up and just give it a few seconds I'd already kind of pre-mix this so and if I squeeze it really hard I don't want water to pour out of there but if I squeeze this stuff you can see just a few drops are coming out of it if I were to pick it up and water was dripping out of it too wet and if I were to pick it up and couldn't really squeeze or it just didn't feel nice and evenly damp you might be a little dry that being said there's nothing magical that I've seen about the ratio of water to vermiculite as long as it's evenly damp I think you're gonna be good to go so we'll put another video out here shortly and show how we use that vermiculite to put in with dried seeds that we've collected and put it through the stratification process. So really excited about this. Let me know if you have any questions and stay tuned. Thanks.